Well, after I had my fried shrimp for lunch, you know, I had to go somewhere else where everybody else was there. Back with another guest, and I want to bring to you Caroline Francis. She works for the University of Kentucky and advises job seekers in alumni career services, although maybe not so much of an a la carte like uh, for undergrads, but nevertheless, uh, she's in the area, but particularly she helps people in their job clubs. And it's like two of them that you're involved in, right? Twice a month. Correct. Twice a month. That's all. That's work. That it is, is work. love that we see yes. so oh, many great results. Though. Yeah, it, it is. It is worth it. And uh, people who follow me know people who follow me really closely know how, you know, I do it during the summers and uh, and really we've gotten some great results. In fact, I think a couple of people wrote something on my LinkedIn from last year about how it's helped them. But uh, all in all, I want to get your perspective on job clubs on um why has it been such a great, um, not only inspiration, but a tool for job seekers that and people that come, that come? Job clubs are not new. I've known about them for 30 years. Right. But after the last recession, 2009, 2011, mm -hmm. when so many clients were desperate to find jobs, mm -hmm. they had never had to look for work. They didn't have an updated resume. Mm -hmm. And they needed a lot of help. And their networks had dried up. Mm -hmm. their technology skills were weak. Mm -hmm. So that's when we started the Central Kentucky Job Club in Lexington, Kentucky. It's free and open to the public. And we have helped hundreds of people through the years with all facets of job search. I always encourage clients around the country to try to find a job club in your community. Mm -hmm. They are the most perfect thing you can do to supplement your job search. Yes. Build your network, meet employers, and just become a better job seeker because right. we're all going to have lots of jobs and careers, as you know. Yeah, it's another way to get coaching and for people to get feedback because the feedback is so essential now because sometimes you think you're doing the right thing, but the optics don't look exactly the way you perceive it at all, does it? No, no. And just updated resume techniques and mm -hmm. interviewing strategies that if you haven't been in the market for a while, things change. Yes, absolutely. And I especially saw a lot of older job seekers, mid and late career job seekers mm -hmm. from when we started Job Club. That was our primary audience mm -hmm. so they really had a lot of catching up to do and we've been meeting now for nine years yeah. we went virtual like a lot of job clubs did during mm -hmm. covid right. and uh, continue to meet virtually but we are also back in person ah okay that's the same thing as uh my uh, uh my friend and mentor damian burkle uh he has a uh, freshman's in transition and he's been running it for many years now and they've helped like more than 10,000 job seekers throughout the years. But that's one of the things that he's doing too. They're meeting virtually, but they're also meeting in person. And people, it, I guess it depends what area in the country you're from, people are going to either come or they're going to continue to meet virtual. But I think that's the kind of shift that job seekers need to meet ultimately is that they need to understand the workplace, where they're going to work, what they're going to ask, and I think older job seekers often take for granted that it's not the same work that they come up with. We just don't go back to the same day. We didn't in the Great Recession, and we're definitely not now. Definitely not. So Great. talk about, uh, how much do you talk about like video interviewing and just some of the Think some of the, how things have changed over the past couple of years. Sure. Formats can be different for Job Club. How we typically run is we begin with networking mm -hmm. when we're in person. We have short networking exercises for people that are in person to meet. They're forced to meet people, which is right. people are nervous about that at first, but they'll email back and say, that was the most impactful thing I've done in my job search. It forced me to practice my 30-second mm -hmm. commercial and meet people every time I came to Job Club. Right. Then we have a guest speaker, and we run on, we have three schedules a year. We kind of run on a, a schedule of a university. We have a winter, a summer, and a fall. Gotcha. Where in each cycle, we have one speaker that will really 
um, focus on interviewing a speaker on LinkedIn, a speaker on resumes, um, usually one on job search strategies. And then we throw in some other topics such as working with recruiters or how to get the second interview, overcoming job search barriers, uh, ageism. So a wide variety of topics that we'll cycle in. At the end, we always give an opportunity for employers to share their job leads right. and uh, meet if they're in person. Meet well, with that's people. cool that you have employers that actually mm -hmm. come. We Very have, nice. Yes. Very nice. Now, what are, what would you say would be one or two things that has, how your advice has changed in the past couple of years mm -hmm. since COVID began? What did you say before, and maybe that might be a kind of shift that in the way that you give advice now? I think on resumes, people really need to focus a bullet on their resume. If they have had remote work experience mm -hmm. or experience supervising remotely, they really need to play that up on their resume now. Mm -hmm. Also, as we're talking about in the conference, job seekers and professionals need to be more strategic on telling more about their accomplishments and how it resulted more strategically, perhaps the company or the organization, right. the greater impact of what they did. Mm -hmm. And being able to clearly and confidently share that will certainly get them further in their job search. Yeah, yeah, I really think that um, as career consultants, advisors, whatever the category is, is that if you're not shifting along to care client, you're kind of doing a disservice to them. Or even if, you, if it's free, if you're offering free help, it's not, it's, it's, it's at a cost in a sense because you're setting people back by not informing them what it looks like in the interview landscape, what it looks like uh, in getting the advice. Because advice, I find it even changes from every few months or so because the market takes this dip and then it rises and then the job numbers go up and down, and although they may not have a direct effect, they sometimes have a way to say, okay, something is not working, and you should know what that not working is. Well, networking has always been so important, and people don't realize how important mm -hmm. networking is. Right. And now more than ever, with not as many public events as there were before COVID, people really have to reach out. And they have to be more intentional about reaching out to schedule a Zoom session, a phone call, a coffee meeting, to nurture, develop, and maintain their contacts, their network. Yes. Always be connecting. I tell my clients, ABC. Always, always be, connecting. be connecting. Yeah, it's it is something that you. It's easy to do because we come in contact with people every day, unless you know you're in right somewhere where more people are. Other than that, you come in contact, and it is a part of your lifestyle. As I talk about job search is lifestyle, it's something you do while you go and do about your day, while you're waiting in line, while you do your laundry, while yes. you're the barbershop or the hair shop, whatever it is, it's there for you to do. So if people want to get a hold of you, want to know more about you, what can they do? They can contact the UK Alumni Association. Our services are open to the public. Anyone can join the Alumni Association, even if they've never been to the University of Kentucky, and take advantage of Alumni Career Services. Our website is ukalumni.net forward slash career. And we do have certified career counselors on staff to help people. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. And uh, I'll continue to provide this content throughout the rest of the afternoon, so at least for the next few hours. So stay tuned, and we've got some more coming up. Peace and love. I'll see you. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Not a problem.